Good morning, good evening. I thought I would share this little thing I've done two days ago. I have donated blood for the first time and it felt really weird, not gonna lie. They measured the hemoglobin levels in my blood. Obviously, as always, it's it was a little too high, so basically it's over the limit, just slightly. And basically what it means is I have too much iron. Even, you know, there are some people like vegetarians, vegans, who have a lack of iron in their blood. And I, despite not eating too much meat, I'm having too much iron. So it's a good thing that I have donated red blood cells and this number has decreased, so it has helped me. But at the same time, it is helping someone who's gonna receive the blood. So if you're donating whole blood, they're gonna do some remixing with someone else's blood. They're gonna, I think it's just a harder process because no, it's easier for you because you're just donating your whole blood without anything. But then the recipient has to wait till the blood goes through the procedures and stuff. But in my case, the blood can be directly used. So it's a good thing to know that I have helped. I'm just waiting for a notice or something just to, to actually know if it was suitable and you know, if, if it was used or something. And it feels good, but it didn't really feel good at the time. Of donation. Essentially what they're doing is they are taking double the amount of blood they would as opposed to taking the whole blood. And it is because they're trying to basically make a blood bag of concentrated red blood cells. In turn meaning that you have to lie there for like half an hour, the machine is sucking your blood out and then the centrifuge is spinning to separate the fluids and the red blood cells and, and all this stuff. And then the procedure of giving you back your fluid starts and that's the that's the worst part because the fluid has has already reached room temperature, meaning it's cold. When they're draining your blood, you're feeling cold already. But then when they're giving back your plasma, whatever, I'm gonna fact check this, it feels cold. I was shivering, they gave me like two blankets, gave me a can of soda, and uh, I didn't even know what I signed up for. Because I mean, it was my first time, and they said, oh, do you wanna, do you wanna like donate red blood cells? I'm like, sure, I don't care. And then I didn't even know that this was gonna be the procedure. Um, but I feel I feel good now. Um, I guess it's a it's a good feeling. Hopefully, I've helped someone. They are saying that you may even help up to three people, so that's good. Good to know. We gotta help each other. So yeah, that's 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 about it from this video. You know, I was think I was thinking about making some more content, like probably starting some news show and stuff. Um, because see, let me just like okay. So the the main video about blood donation is over. If you stay till now, you're gonna see a little segment. So I've been thinking, you know, about this news show. I've been thinking about, um how, you know, I want to do YouTube, but it doesn't show. It doesn't show online that my passion is actually like visible, you know, of me like going there, making like weekly videos or something, researching topics, scripting the videos, like getting people to come over and film with them and stuff. And that's pretty much the problem that I cannot really materialize my passion. I'll explore some more content types and see what I can actually do with the tools I have now, because I cannot really do skits, like sketches and stuff. You know, you need, I don't even have a tripod here. Like that's the problem. That's one of the problems of like doing cinematography and stuff. So enough excuses. I just want to do something. But I've been saying that, like, I, I said it like a month ago during New Year's, looking for myself in New York. And it, it helped, but it didn't just show me the way, you know, like, concentrate on this. It's a process. It is, it is a process. And I've been streaming from time to time, just like gaming content. I've even done like music production stream. The numbers aren't looking the best, but you aren't gonna expect anyone to find the content if it's only like, you know, once per month or something. So this is really expected and uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm just really sad, I guess, about myself not being able to stick to a schedule. But I don't know. Thank you for listening. Keep an eye out for something new, hopefully. As I'm saying, like I was trying to think of some news show, sort, sort of a news show, because YouTube, this platform, this lens, this screen, you now sitting there listening, is is a platform. YouTube is a platform for sharing perspectives and opinions. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, scientifically researched 
something. If you're going for science videos, yes, sure. But this platform, is it is it still broadcast yourself? I guess it is. Um, because you know YouTube was associating with these words, just saying like YouTube broadcast yourself. And that's what it is. It's a platform made for connecting with someone, sharing and expressing your opinion, or giving an insight to your perspective, or anything about issues or something. So yeah, it's good to talk to you. Thank you. And see you later.